Welcome back to another edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. We are going to go through all the eight games on Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021 in the NHL. Don't go nowhere. Yes, tonight we have eight games in the program with 16 teams in action. And we're going to go, uh, to go through each game with by numbers. We like to bring you a stat talking about each game. And let's start right away with... The first game, it was between Montreal Canadiens and the Vancouver Canucks. Final score, 5-3 for Montreal on the empty net of Jeff Pittery. Uh, Josh Anderson uh, scored two goals with his fifth and sixth of the year. And Tyler Toffoli uh, has uh, scored two more goals, is eight and nine. He scored eight goals against the Vancouver Canucks and the first five games between both teams. Plus, he has one assist for three points. Uh, for the Vancouver, Antoine Roussel scored his first goal of the year. Elias Pedersen is fourth. And Todd Person is third of the year. Again, Jake Allen was the goaltender for Montreal for the win. And uh, Tushner Temko uh, for the Vancouver Canucks with the loss. Um, for itself, it was 49-51 between both teams. For Montreal, 1-3 and three in power play. For Canucks, 0 and 4 Montreal. 26-20 for the hits for the Canucks. 13-11 for the blocks for the Canucks. And the penalty was 8 from, uh, for the Canucks and 6 for Montreal Canadiens. The shot was 39-33 for uh, the Vancouver Canucks. Of course, I watched the game. You can go on the YouTube channel to see all the game, the preview, and the resume of each game for the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, you can see the jersey behind me. I'm in the fans, and I'm always talking about that, uh, all the game from this team. And um, again, the Canucks yesterday, first of all, it was the fourth win for the Montreal again in Vancouver this year in five games. Um, Vancouver have a better night compared to the night before. Uh, they are uh, really strong in the third period. They scored two goals. It was 4-1 Montreal after the second period. And uh, two late goals um, for the Canucks make a really a good game at the end. And um, I think the third goal was about 42 seconds remaining of the game and an uh, empty net of Jeff Perry. But Vancouver play a better overall game. Uh, Queen Hughes have three assists for Vancouver. That's something... Also to add, uh, but um, you know, uh, one thing we need to um, to remember: Vancouver, the bottom six, has 14 goals this year with a goal from Antoine Roussel uh, last night. So that gives you an idea how it's really balanced. But again, we did not see the last two games or that buzzer. Uh, Pedersen scored yesterday on, on power play, but overall. They need more uh, offensive from the top six for that team. So a uh, good win for the Montreal Canadiens. Now they are 7-1-2. And, two. and uh, for Vancouver, they are became now 6-7. and seven. The second game of the night is between the Columbus and the Dallas. Final score, Dallas 6. And the Columbus Blue Jacket 3. Uh, Dallas now have a 5-1-1. Columbus are 4-3-3. Three, and three. The shot was 33 versus 26. The face off 56 uh, versus 44 for the Columbus. Uh, two and three in power play for Dallas, 44 for Columbus. And the uh, hits was 10 for Dallas, 12 for Columbus. The block 14 7 for Dallas, 6 6 minutes each team on penalties. The goal came from Dallas, came from. Joe Pavelski is 6-7 plus two assists for four points. Uh, Jimmy Ben scored his second goal of the year. Koreanov is fourth. Fasca scored his first goal of the year. And uh, Redzulov scored his third of the year. Uh, for Columbus, John have scored his second goal of the year. And Grigorenko scored his third uh, of the year. Uh, overall, it was um, another great performance for Dallas Star. Uh, this, the score don't show exactly um, how t how close it was because they scored the last two goals in the last two minutes for the 
empty net for the Dallas at some point. So, um, but I think Dallas dominate a little bit more the first uh, 40 minutes of the game and then Columbus came back, but again, it was too late for them. Um, so a good performance. Um, on one thing we have to remember for Columbus, uh, Maison, uh, the Golden Door, Maison Lake uh, get out after the second period. Um, he gave um, three, three, uh, five goals, and I think that's one reason why he was removed of the of the net from uh, the head coach John Tortorella. So Dallas continued what they uh, they did last year again. It's uh, another um, great game. It was a second win for the rookie Golden Thurs Steve Otinger for him, and another great performance for him. So overall, Dallas now became five one and one. The third game of the night, it was between the Coyotes, Arizona versus the St. Louis Blues. The final score, 4-3 for uh, St. Louis, I'm sorry. Um, St. Louis now 7-2-1, and Coyotes, they came now back to 3-5-1. Shot was 33-32 for Arizona. Face off 56-44 for St. Louis. Power play 1 and 3 for Coyotes, 0 and 5 for the Blues, 15 13 for the Hits for the Arizona, 19 14 blocks for Arizona, 10 minute penalty for Coyotes, 6 minutes for the Blues. The goal came from um, Chris Tarrak, uh, his fourth and the fifth of the year, and uh, Schmalz, his fourth of the year, plus he won one assist. Kessel have two assists for them. For the St. Louis Blues, Mike Hoffman scored his second goal of the year. Uh, Justin Folk scored his third. was a really great goal from him. Uh, Vince Dunn scored his third. And finally, uh, Ryan O'Reilly finally scored his second goal of the year. Um, good performance overall for the Blues. Um, you know, Coyotes is still missing more offensive game after game. But for the Blues, uh, great performance again for Bennington in the net. Um, he's really getting better and better. Uh, we was some concern about him during the playoff last year with a big 0-5 and over four and, uh, four point something game uh, uh, game against average per game during the playoff. But really now Bennington came who he was before, and uh, that's maybe one reason why uh, the Sandwich continues to win uh, game after game. Uh, let's move on. The four game of the night was between the. Carolina Hurricanes and shootout win 4-3 over the Chicago Blackhawks. Carolina now became 6-1-0. Chicago are 3-4-4. A good performance, honestly, from the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, but the shot was 41-33 for Carolina. 56-44 face-off for Carolina. 0-1 power play for the Hurricanes. 1-2 Chicago. The hits was 33 27, really physical game, uh, very good game, to, entertaining to watch, to be honest with you. Uh, 16, 24 blocks for the Chicago, a four-minute penalty only for Carolina, and only two for Chicago. The goal for the, from the Carolina, it was, came from the Fogel, his first of the year. Uh, Shemnikov is fifth, like also Vincent Tracek. And by the way, Feshnikov, he was the only scorer and shootout. He has a goal winner of the game. For the Chicago, Patrick Kane continues with his fifth of the year. And Kureshev is fourth of the year. And that's another. And Strom is fourth of the year. So it's another good performance for the Blackhawks. And one thing we have to remind you is the good performance, the Golden Dirt and Lincoln in again for the Chicago uh, he really became right now the Golden Dawn number one in NHL uh, for the Chicago. I'm sorry. And uh, Carolina was, you know, attack a lot, but save, you know, save after save. Lincoln and frustrated a lot the Carolina players yesterday. Um, we heard today, uh, yesterday also, <clears throat> Chicago are lending to talking with uh, Arvid Sodenblom of the SHL as a Golden Dawn. Um, there was a rumor came from Ilya Filman uh, yesterday, so it's something we have to maybe follow up with this part. Uh, the next game was between the Calgary Flames versus the Winnipeg Jets. It was the second game um, of back-to-back um, -back between both uh, 
teams. Uh, finally, the Winnipeg Jets now win 3-2 versus the Flame the night before. Uh, the Calgary won 4-3. and three. Uh, The shot was 31-28 for Calgary. 57-43 face-off for um, Calgary. 0-4 power play for Calgary. They have a really strong power play usually. 0-2 for Winnipeg Jets. 16-15 hits for Winnipeg. 24 block. That's give you an idea how uh, they play very well. The Jets versus 10 for the Jets, of course. Uh, versus 10 for the Flames. Uh, penalty, 8 minutes by Calgary and 4 minutes only for the Winnipeg Jets. The goal came for Matthew Trachuk. Score is 4th in the 5th of the year. Uh, Trevor Lewis scored his first goal with the Winnipeg Jets. Um, it was first of the year. Full bird, also his first. And uh, great goal from Ellers at the, um, at the end of the first period. It's 6th of the year. And he became the winner, the goal winner of the, of the game. Um, after the first play was 3-1 Winnipeg and then uh, Calgary Flame hanging there. Trachuk scored his second goal during the third period. But um, and another, you know, two teams uh, play well. Physicality was there, uh, really entertaining both. And uh, it was a back-to-back -back game. And uh, they split, uh, honestly, the Flame won the first game. And um, Bro uh, Brassoit was the goaltender for the Jets, so we have the win of the game, and Rittich for the Calgary Flame got the loss. Uh, the next game between the Anaheim Ducks and the Los Angeles game, final score 3-1 for the Ducks. Uh, they can now, they have a record of 3-5-2, Los Angeles are 3-3-2. Three, three the goal came from Inan, uh, Inan, I'm sorry, you have a missed typo there, his third of the year. David Bax is his first of the year, and Nicolas Delorier, third of the year uh good performance for the less uh, for the ducks for the kings was his first game of the year kelly Ebb scored his first goal in nhl uh, for them uh the shot was really a 43 versus 21 for the ducks great great performance for the ducks overall they really have uh, king have a little bit difficulty against the, the ducks yesterday zero and one both team and power play 20 22 hits from the kings 11 and 8 blocks for the kings also seven minutes each penalty for both team um, again like i mentioned uh, good performance for the ducks yesterday gibson was a goaltender and uh, peterson for the los angeles king and um, that will be um, you know uh, we have to mention one thing here is uh, the they are the the lessons came before that last yesterday they all really have a good season so far because the reason was nz kopitar so uh, kopitar continues to have already 12 points and i think he's one of the reasons why the kings still uh, have a good record so far finally the last two game of the uh, the night it was the minnesota uh, wild one colorado avalanche two Another good win for the Colorado. We have to remind you, uh, McKinnon is on the injury list. Got hurt during the last game. He left at the third period. Now he was none of the lineup yesterday. The goal came from O'Connor, his second, and also this cushion for the Colorado uh, Avalanche. Is he was a goal winner for the Avs. Uh, Kaprizov, the rookie of Kaprizov, scored his third goal of the season. Uh, now Minnesota are six five zero. Colorado is 7-3-1. The shot on the net was 33-25 for Colorado. Face off was 53-47 for Colorado. Power play, Minnesota 0-4, 0-3 for Colorado. Um, 14 sh uh, hit versus 9 for Colorado. 14 vers and versus 8 blocks for Colorado. And finally, 6-minute penalty for Minnesota. And 8-minute penalty for um for the, um, I'm sorry, for Colorado Avalanche. Um, and the net, yesterday, Krubber was back in the in the net for a back-to-back -back game for him. It was his second start uh, straight. Uh, Colorado played well without McKinnon. You can see the offensive was different, of course, without him. But again, they got what they looking for. It was the win for them. Kikkonen was the goaltender for the Minnesota Wilds. And, um, you know, it was a back-to-back game between both formations. Minnesota win at home and then they lost yesterday again. Um, 
against the Colorado Avalanche. And finally, the last game of the night, it was between the Ottawa Senator and Edmonton Oilers. Final score, Oilers 4, Ottawa Senator 2. It was the seventh straight loss for Ottawa. They are now a record 1-8-1. And, and now uh, Edmonton play for 500 with 6-6-0. Six, six, uh, the shot was a square, 25-25 uh, for both teams. Uh, Face-off, Ottawa 53, Oilers 47. 0-5 for power play for the Senators, 0-2 for the Oilers. The hit was 31-22 for the Senators. 20-20 block for both teams. Four-minute penalty for the Senators and 10 minutes for the Oilers. Cedric Paquet scored his first goal of the year, but also his first goal with the Ottawa Senator. Uh, for the Oilers came uh, Nurse score his third goal of the year. He opened the score for the game for this for the game. Uh, Bull Javi finally scored his first two goals with the Oilers this year. He was a goal winner. And Leon Dressalt um, scored his seventh goal, of course, of the year. Better performance overall for the Senator after a really bad game of eight to five against the Oilers overall. I think um, I think. Um, um head coach for Ottawa should be happy about the performance for his players, but again, still did not win for the seventh time uh, straight. And for the Oilers, is a you know back-to-back -back win against them. They are getting a little bit back on their normal. Koskinen was good in front of net. He was not Murray and goaltender for the Ottawa Senator, but more Archer. So uh, again, that was about uh, overall um, what happening in initial. Um, on the Tuesday, February 2nd. Before we leave, we always like to give you the three star of the night. But we have to go the first star with Joe Pavelski. He has um, <coughs> two goals, two assists yesterday. Uh, the second star of the night, we have to go with uh, Tyler Toffoli. Two goal, one assist with a Montreal Canadian. And finally, um, we have to go with a golden door for the Chicago Blackhawks, Kevin Lincoln. Whatever he lost yesterday, have a great performance. Again, Carolina Hurricane saved 38 shots during the game. They won one reason why the Chicago uh, got one point. So a good performance again for Lincoln. And so uh, thanks again for watching us. Before we leave, we want to invite you. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, under Hockey Nation Live. So, and of course, we will be for page. And then before we leave, you know this drill. Yes. You have greatness inside of you. Thanks again for watching how many of my friends. Oh, you're so great.